that Emily Maynard is going to be our bachelorette. Of course, everyone got to know and love her um, as the woman, the single mom um, that uh, Brad chose, and it didn't work out, and now she's, she's come back. And um, it's going to be an amazing season. She's a friend of mine, and I think she's America's sweetheart. She's beautiful. She's sweet. Everything you want in a bachelorette, but at the same time, it's going to be a different season. She's a single mom. Uh, we've never done that before. Uh, we had Jason Mesnick, a single dad. So, again, I think we're kind of pushing that envelope, and it will be an interesting dynamic and a very different season to see how she handles that, how we handle that, um, and how the guys do. I don't see Ben with, like, a lot of these girls. Like, Lindsay. She's just got an annoying personality. You really hit it out of the park today. Yeah, I mean, look, we're not complaining that the girl... Well, first of all, what you need is you you got to have that bachelor. I mean, you got to have that, that carrot dangling out there that the women want. I mean, um, if you have, you know, a guy that they kind of reject or they're like, eh, whatever, we take him or leave him, you're not going to have that. So obviously it really goes to show what a good bachelor you have. And it's also something that I think is very unique to the bachelor, not the bachelorette. Guys really don't have that cattiness in them. Guys are kind of like, look... I have something to say to you. You're a bum. Let's do it right now. You want to fight? Let's get it over with. And then, and then it's done. Whereas women, this will fester, and it goes and goes and goes for weeks at a time. It's a very different dynamic. We're really going for this, aren't we? They're big doing. You're only in Puerto Rico once. Likewise. The competition factor has been ratcheted up, the cattiness, uh, the bitchiness, if you will. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with Ben, uh, the guy they're fighting over. I think he is obviously a catch. I mean, this winemaker, there's a great life that he represents, um, and he has this great spirit about him. And I think the women were kind of captivated by him the very first night, and it's, it's only been you know, ratcheted up since then. Um, and it's, uh, it only gets worse. It doesn't get better as we head on to the end of the season. I'm scared that the girls, when they find out, will hate me forever and ever and ever. But that's not what I'm here for. They'll live.